In this video, we will look at the causes of no video in a CCTV camera installation and how to solve this problem whenever it occurs. Here is an AHD CCTV camera setup of four cameras where in a normal circumstance, all four cameras should have been displaying video on the monitoring screen. But as you can see, we are faced with a no video problem from one of the cameras and so we will be exploring all the possible causes of no video in a typical CCTV camera setup so as to be able to solve this problem whenever it arises. Please note that a no video problem in any CCTV camera installation is traceable to either video related causes or power related causes or even a combination of both video and power related causes. Let's start with the video-related causes of no video in a CCTV camera installation. These are BNC connectors that carry camera videos into the DVR. And whenever any of these BNC connectors are loosely connected at the back of the DVR, it can result in a no video situation on the affected camera whose connection is loose. And therefore, in connecting these BNC connectors, they must be firmly fastened onto the back of the DVR. Another possible video-related cause of no video in a CCTV installation is a disconnect of any of the coaxial cable conductors within the BNC connectors. And so, in tracing the no video problem, you must check to be sure that both conductors of the coaxial cable are still in place in the BNC connector. And still within the BNC connector, you must look out for any possible short circuits or what can be called a touch between the outer conductor and the inner conductors of the coaxial cable so that if there are any such bridges or short circuits, they should be corrected. And these checks must be done at the cable coming into the DVR and also the side that is going into the camera as well to be sure that all the terminations are right and in their correct positions. Another check you must carry out is to look out for any bruises or what can also be called cuts on the coaxial cables because some level of cuts or bruises to the coaxial cable can also lead to no video problems in your CCTV camera installation. Let's now look at power related causes of no video problems in a CCTV camera installation. In an event where all of your CCTV cameras show no video, you also have to check if there is power in your power supply unit and get it restored if it is off, or you may have to replace your power supply unit when it is found faulty, because an absence of power in your power supply unit will definitely mean that your cameras connected to the power supply unit will not be powered on and therefore you will be experiencing the no video problem from all the cameras. If you are using a power supply unit like mine, you must check to be sure if each power supply pair is delivering power, which is indicated by the green LEDs that are on, meaning that power is produced at each of the points where the LEDs are on. For instance, when you take a point like this, the LED is off and so you should not expect power at these terminals. A camera connected here will definitely not work, thereby showing no video on the screen. Another check to do is to examine your power cable terminations in the power supply unit and be sure none is loosed out of the power connectors in the power supply unit. If you find any of the power cables out of place, they must be replaced properly. And from there, you must also check the power terminations going into the cameras and be sure that both the positive and the negative cable terminations are in place. One other inspection you should do is to ensure there are no tiny wire strands from the positive terminal touching the negative terminal and vice versa. When you have a situation like that, it can short circuit your camera and also blow your power supply fuses. And so you must always check that up. 
Another major cause of no video in a CCTV installation is low voltage supply to the CCTV cameras, which is mainly caused by the running of too long power cables to the cameras. So that when the cables are too long, there is a lot of voltage drop along the cable. So by the time the cable gets to the camera, the voltage along the cable will not be up to the required voltage to be able to power up the CCTV camera. So it is therefore recommended to have the cables at a reasonable length and they shouldn't exceed 100 meters or even 70 meters depending on the cable quality that you are using. And finally, you must ensure your cables do not have scratches or bruises on them because that can also be a cause of break in the cable leading to a no voltage supply to the camera and an eventual no video problem registered in your CCTV installation. You can do a thorough inspection of your power cables or better still, you can test for power at the ends of your power cable to be sure there are no breaks in the cable. It's been a pleasure coming your way again with this video. Please ensure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.